prospecting today at a small creek in the Allentown, Pennsylvania area. Never been here before. Uh, the weather condition is, let's say, a little wet. It's been raining like this most of the day. I'm just going to run the last bucket of cans through the sluice and get out of here and go home and get dry. Um, after a couple of hours this gets old, but hey, that's what you pay for. I'm using the Angus McKirk sluice. Again, I've used a little bit of a combination of the natural dam and my plastic wing extensions to increase the water flow somewhat. I'm finding out that this sluice is like a wife. If you don't set it up right before you, you go into a relationship with it, it'll come back and kill you. Um, this sluice is very sensitive to water flow. A couple of inches of pitch on the up and down length of the creek makes a big, big difference on the exchange and the clean out of the um, riffles. Uh, right now I'm saying I'm just a little bit underperforming but I'm letting it go for the time being. Um, I've got the classic V which everybody tells me is a good thing. Um, I've got fairly decent water flow but as I say I'm still getting quite a concentration of uh, material building up in the lower riffles. I've always heard that with the McCurk sluices the first couple of riffles are the ones that make the um, obviously the gold come to you. So I'm just going to run this sluice for a couple of more minutes, clean up and go home. But I just wanted to show you guys what some of the conditions that I've been going to. This is in the middle of a farm field. Further down that way that I'm pointing at now is, is another smaller stream that uh, coincides with this small creek. So I may go down there the next time I come here and see if I can find out where the uh, creeks obviously merge and perhaps a little bit better. But there is so much black sand in this, um, in this material here. I've been basically digging a hole here. And as you can see, some of the rocks that have come out of here are pretty, pretty exotic. Um, I've got down to about two and a half feet below and suddenly saw nothing but black sand coming out of the material. Magnetite or whatever. And I've been told that this creek is pretty historically full of uh, magnetite and pyrite. And, um, the fields around it are loaded with um, Indian arrowheads and flints. Once the farmers cut this corn, come here with a, either a metal detector or just go around poking with sticks and you, they say you can find hundreds of arrowheads and Indian artifacts. So that's what I'll do the next time in a couple of months. But listen, all you YouTubers that are on this YouTube channel and the all you goals prospectors, um, hope you have a good day. And I've always said the worst day of gold prospecting is better than the best day of work ever. We'll see you guys later.